Hi guys, it's Judith. Today's video is a Q&A that has been prompted by someone called FJ. And the question that really hit me, and I thought I really need to make a video about this because it's, I guess I don't take it into consideration because I have such good oral hygiene. And I have such good oral hygiene because with the exception of a few years, I've never had dental insurance. So I've had to take care of my teeth. I've had to take care of my oral health myself. Brushing, flossing, rinsing my mouth out after meals and after I drink anything, whether it's milk kefir or milk or anything other than water. And the question is, have you found the higher acidity diet in eating so many fermented foods has affected your teeth negatively? No. Nothing. <laughs> But again, it's because of my daily lifestyle. I've never allowed myself to become dependent on a dentist, just like I'm not dependent on a hairdresser or a manicurist or a pedicurist to take care of me. I've tried not to be dependent as best as I can on other people and things if I can give that to myself. I don't know how to make a computer. So clearly there's going, or a car, or a blender, <laughs> or a knife. I don't know how to make those things. So I'm going to have dependencies on people that way. But coming back to the question, no. I don't have that issue. And if you do, it's not about the fermented foods. It's kind of like what I was trying to explain in barefoot hiking or barefoot walking. If you do not have a proper foot care protocol, regardless of whether you wear shoes or go, go barefoot, you're going to have issues with your feet because you're neglecting your feet. And similarly, it's not fermented foods that are going to make you have issues with your teeth. It's your neglect of your oral hygiene that's going to give you causes and problems with your teeth. So I hope that kind of answers the question. So how do you take care of your teeth? Well, I just explained it. Brush at least maybe two or five times a day. Rinse your mouth out after every time you put something in there that's not water. Whether it's a cigarette, it's a pipe, it's a vape, it's gel caps, whether it's food, whether it's fermented food, a beverage, fermented beverage. Rinse your mouth out with water after every time you put something in your mouth, including gum. Take care of your own oral health. And obviously floss, because maybe you don't have gum issues right now, but a lot of times, like me, you don't know you get pockets, which if left unattended could lead to root canal down the road. If you don't tend to the little things in the moment when they're healthy, then you're going to need a dentist because you've let it go and it's in a state of disrepair or it needs repair. My priority in life is to make certain that I can stave off anything to do with my body, my mind, my emotions, my relationships, my financial health, everything. My priority is to make sure that I take care of it so that I don't end up in a crisis. So I hope that answers your question. It was an awesome question, FJ. Thank you.